This short screencast is going to show you how you can export your finished video from iMovie into GarageBand. Now, iMovie is very good at editing video, but it's not quite as strong at editing audio. So, for instance, you may want to change the um, volume of a particular bit of audio during a clip. This could be to hide unwanted noises like a cough or some uh, kind of ums and ahs, or you might just want to perhaps raise the volume of your backing track to kind of give emphasis. So you can only do this step, well, it's best to do this step once you finish your video. So once you, you're happy with how your video is looking and all the titles and transitions, etc., are in place, then it's the time to export to GarageBand. So you use the share and media browser option. Um, you can choose which size you want to export it. I'm going to do it in large size to keep it the best quality. So you click publish and it will now export the movie. As, as discussed before, exporting takes around about the duration of your project. So this is around about a minute, minute and a half project, so it will take around that to export. Sometimes a bit quicker, um, sometimes a little bit slower. Okay, so the video is almost finished exporting. There we are, so that's finished. So the next thing to do is open up GarageBand. So it's this guitar here. Now once GarageBand has opened, we need to choose a new project and it's going to be a movie project. So we give it a name. Um, again, making sure always that you're saving your work into your own area inside the user projects folder. This at the bottom just can be left at the, uh, the default settings. Okay, so our new project has opened up inside GarageBand. The next thing we need to do is drag our finished video onto the movie track. You can see that in the media browser, which is this uh, right hand side icon here, it gives you an option to choose audio, photos or movies to add in. And this drop down menu shows all of the videos, all of the projects which are in iMovie. So I called my, my project was called Library Intro. And here's my exported video. So I just drag this onto the movie track. And so I've now got my finished video inside GarageBand and you can now start building up the audio for your project. You might just want to change the volume of the audio that's already there or you might want to create new voiceovers or you might just want to add a few sound effects. All of this can be done inside GarageBand.